flat vertical burrs in a manual hand grinder. That's a new Fiorenzato Pietro's claim to fame. So the Pietro grinders are a tribute to Italian entrepreneur Pietro Fiorenzato, who was a founder of Fiorenzato in 1936. So this Pietro was a sample that was released at the Mice Coffee Trade Show in Melbourne, Australia last year. It then travelled to New York to another show and it's now back here in our studio. It is one of two sample Fiorenzato Pietros in Australia right now, but the release of the production version is due soon. Before we dive in and see what makes this grinder different, if you're liking the content so far, please like and subscribe. It really helps us grow our channel and deliver even more content. By the way, Fiorenzato sent me the Pietro early so I could test it out. But like always, I have the full freedom to speak my mind. So the specs. This Pietro runs a 58mm flat stainless steel multi-purpose burr to be able to do both espresso and filter. You can also get this grinder as a pro brew version, which is exactly the same grinder, 58mm flat burrs, but with a different geometry to have a higher focus on filter coffee. Basically, so you get less fines and more boulders. The main difference with this grinder is it's running flat vertical burrs. Think along the lines of the now famous Malconic EK43 or the Time More Sculptor, but they're both electric grinders and this is a manual hand bench top grinder. Most hand grinders have horizontally mounted conical burrs and that's where the big difference lies. Flat vertical burrs versus horizontal conical burrs. Plus the size is quite different. Most of those conicals are a lot smaller in diameter when the Fiorenzato Pietro runs a lot larger flat burr for a hand grinder. Dialing in is also super easy. You've got your dial here and what it basically does is move the burr on that side in and out. So the one on the handle side stays fixed and the one on the dial side is just moving in and out. Super easy to dial in and move from espresso to filter and back. Another big difference with this grinder is it runs a vertical lever. So it's a lot more ergonomical than the horizontal levers you get on most other hand grinders. And it does remind me somewhat of the Lin Weber EG1, which we have on the shelf back there. But once again, that's a lot bigger benchtop grinder, also running horizontal conical burrs. This is running flat vertical. When it comes to little features, the top cap here and the bottom coffee container are running airtight seals. That bottom container is also magnetically connected, so it makes it a lot easier to pull apart and put back together, and a rubber base. That makes it feel a lot sturdy, a lot nicer on the bench. Due to its size and weight, I really do see this more as a benchtop grinder rather than a truly portable hand grinder. So pulling it apart and giving it a clean. I gotta say, this has to be one of the easiest grinders to pull apart and clean in the market. With the handle in the vertical position, just press that silver button down, turn it to the side and pull it out. Once out, you can give it a clean all you want. You can clean the whole mechanism, change out the burrs if you really wanted to. To put it back together, same thing, lock that pin back in, same position you pulled it apart, turn it to the vertical position and you're back in. No need for tools, no need for calibration. On this video, we're gonna focus on doing espresso out of the Pietro, but we will do another video on filter coffee and run it up against the Fella Ode V2 and the Time More Sculptor. But for espresso, we're gonna run 20 grams of coffee, which we have here, out of the Pietro and see how it performs. Loading the 20 grams in, unlocking the handle and being a bench top grinder, we're just gonna push down and turn the handle. Now, if we do get caught up and get a little bit out of sync doing it, we can always bring it back to a more comfortable position and go again. Now it does take a while to grind through. It is easier than maybe what it looks to, to grind, but it does take a while. Compared to other grinders on the market where you have to hold the grind and turn the lever, being able to push down on the counter 
and turn it vertically is a lot easier, but it does take quite a while to grind through all 20 grams in this case for espresso. So we're gonna be running the stone to do the espresso. Now, in the production version of the Pietro, I do believe they're gonna come with a silicon cover to make it easier to dose into a porta filter. Effectively, with a silicon cover, you'd be able to put the porta filter in and turn it around. As this is still a pre-production model, it didn't have that. So we're gonna use just a funnel to make life easier. And just locking it in. Now we we're running 20 grams of coffee in, so we're gonna aim for 40 out. And it just ran a little bit over, 42 grams. It's actually a really nice espresso. The coffee really does have a nice texture and it's quite juicy. I do feel this grinder competes more with the electric grinders than other hand grinders. Not only in the, what it's doing in the cup, but in the way it feels, how it's engineered and how it's built. So who is this grinder for? I see this grinder being used in homes for someone that wants to do either espresso or filter, maybe both wants a hand grinder and doesn't need it to be truly portable. Hand grinder is also super quiet, which we find is important for those who wake up super early and don't want to wake up the household. Think of pilots with kids, yet there's a lot of baristas in this position. I can also see it used in mobile homes where electricity and space is at a premium. So what does it compare to? There's a lot of manual hand grinders in the landscape, yet vertical flat burrs is a first. I see this more as a benchtop manual grinder rather than a manual portable grinder. And being a benchtop, the two I'm thinking as comparisons are a lot bigger running horizontal conical burrs. I'm thinking the Etzinger Etzman and the EG2 by Lynn Weber. So on that respect, they're not a direct comparison. On the flat vertical burr comparison, I see it more like a Time War Sculptor, but that's an electric grinder when this is a manual grinder. So once again, not a purely direct comparison. So not really sure what is a direct comparison to this grinder. Let me know in the comments below which grinders you think are direct comparisons to the Fiorenzato Pietro. And like always, if this video has brought you value, hit that thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Thank you and see you on the next video.